at the bottom of my lesson files, I see a lesson file to download, and this is a template file, simple template, simple TBA. So I'm going to click on that, and I want to save this file into my AutoCAD drawing files. So I will say OK for save, and I will go to my documents, to my AutoCAD drawing files, and I'm going to save this. Now, don't be surprised if you don't see other drawing files when this opens. It's looking for DWT files, which are template files. And there may not be any other template files in your folder. So we'll go ahead and we will save this so that we can use it later when starting a new drawing. Now I'm back in AutoCAD and I'm ready to use my new template file. If I go looking for it, if I go to open and get my select file dialog box, I'm going to go to my documents and to my AutoCAD drawing files where I saved the template file, and you'll notice that I don't see my template file in the list. That's because in the select file, in the open dialog box, AutoCAD only shows me drawings with the file extension of DWG, which are drawing files. It will not show me any template files even though they may be in this particular folder. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to New and select a template. When you click on New, it looks for templates and the default location it will take me to is the AutoCAD template file. Now, if you remember, we saved our template into our own drawing file. So I'm going to open my AutoCAD drawing file, and now I see temp simple template TBA is here. So I'm going to choose that, and I'm going to open it. I will get a message like this, perhaps. It will go away once we have saved it into our own folder. So when our template opens, it opens to the Layout tab and we see the layout that is loaded into our template. This is simple title block A. A referring to an A size sheet of paper, a regular 11 by 8.5 inch printer paper. Let's click on the model tab and explore model space. We'll look at some basic settings. First let's look at, its, at our units. So I'm going to type units from the keyboard and enter for our drawing units. We can see that by default our template is set to decimal, four decimal places of precision to uh, decimal degree angles. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see what our limits are set for. By default, the lower left hand corner is at zero, zero, and the upper right hand corner is 12, nine. So we have a, uh, a drawing limit area similar to a piece of paper. If I look in my layers, you'll see that some layers have already been created in this drawing. Most of these refer to our layout and are used as part of our layout. So we'll go to our layout tab. So in our layout tab we know that this white area represents the size of the piece of paper. If I want to see what the setup is for printing, I can left click on the tab and go to my page setup manager. And I can see what the uh, page setup is. I can modify that for this page. Now if you want to be able to print from your template to your home computer, then you would, on this list, pick out your plotter or printer that you want to print to. We can see that the paper size is set to 8.5 by 11, and it's in a landscape mode. So the only thing here that you might want to change is to pick out your own printer. On our piece of paper we have a title block that's drawn in paper space. So the border and 
these block areas are drawn in paper space. We don't see them in model space. And we have a viewport. This is an area that will look into model space and we can use for displaying our objects that we've drawn there. If I change on the button down here from paper to model space, you notice that that viewport lights up. And if I had something in, in model space to see, then I would see it. Change back. Now I'm in paper space. We have some information that's already been put into the title block. These, this is basically text that we can edit. It's already here and it's already aligned. All you have to do is double click on it and edit the text rather than creating text again. If I don't have enough space I can just stretch it out a little bit more. Click anywhere outside the box to end and as long as I'm still in paper space do a zoom all to zoom to the extents of our paper. These other items would be edited as you completed each of the drawings. The drawing number, the date, and the scale. Now that we've made some changes to our template file, we need to save it so that we will have those changes available again the next time we want to start a new drawing. So I'm going to use the Save As dialog box and I want to make sure that I'm saving this as a .dwt file. We're saving it as a template and not as a regular drawing right now. So AutoCAD wants to take me to their default template folder, but if you remember, we are saving our templates to our AutoCAD drawing files. So now I'm going to, because I've changed this template with my name, I'm going to make this my own, so I'll put my name on this template, and I will save. And it gives me a box where I can enter information about the template itself. So this has now been saved as a template. I would close this template drawing. Now I will go to New. I'm going to open from a template, so I will go back to my drawing files and I see my template. I'm going to start here and you notice that my name is in the title block already. I would go to model space and work on my drawing and then when I go to save, I'm now going to save this as a drawing file it'll be saved back into my folder and my template is remains unchanged so I can use it again with its default settings and my name in it.